Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about a summer technique that I think most of us all love to fish, and that's the bluegill spawn. Uh, the bluegill spawn goes on most of the entire summer throughout the entire country. You can find fish doing it as early as, you know, May, kind of when the bass are still spawning. And they'll do it all the way up through, you know, August and September as the, you know, until the water temps really start cooling off. So the bluegill spawn happens for a vast majority of the year. And because of that, it's a great it's a great place to target to catch some giant bass. You know, as we know, the bass like to go feed up on bluegill while they're on beds to get uh, a little bit of revenge on those bluegills that were feeding on the bass eggs when they were guarding their nest. So it, it kind of is that vicious cycle, but it's an easy meal for, for a bass to go sit there and wait for a bluegill that's guarding its nest and go pick one off. So, you know, anytime we have uh, the opportunity to fish bluegill beds, I think it's worth just swing it over and making a few casts. You know, it's it's one of those things that if you know where there's a bluegill bed, you don't have to sit there all day. You make a handful of casts and you move on to your next spot, whether it's another bluegill bed or it's, you know, whatever it is that you want to fish. It's always just a good idea that if there's one in the area that you know about, it's worth making a few casts on. So today what I want to talk about is what should you be making those few casts with? You know, there's a bunch of different baits on the market and a lot of people have different ideas as to what their favorite approach is to try to mimic a bluegill or get a bass to strike off of a bluegill bed. But in my opinion, there's there's only a handful of baits that I think are truly successful. I feel like there's a ton of baits that you can throw up into a bluegill bed area uh, that you would think would mimic a bluegill really well, but they just don't seem to get the number of bites that other baits will get. So that's what I want to talk about today. I want to give you kind of the, the, the choices that I use when I'm out chasing bluegill beds, which I love to do during the summer months. I think it's a great technique uh, and it's a way to catch some really big fish. So the first kind of the first thing I like to do is always throw a top water. I truly believe that a top water mimics a wounded bluegill or a bluegill that's gone to the surface to eat something which makes them vulnerable to a bass that's lurking off to the side. When they see a bluegill kind of lose their guard and go after an insect or something on the surface to feed, they'll go and eat that bluegill just as they would if there was a wounded bluegill, you know, that was flipping on the surface. So a topwater is always a great choice. For me, there's two topwater styles that I really like. And I know you guys have heard me talk about these in the past, but this is just a bluegill style prop bait. Uh, this is a Gandy Lure Company one, uh, but there's tons of good ones on the market that are made. The whole idea here being that it's a it's a bluegill size bait. It's got double props on it, and you give it some hard twitches, and you know it just makes a commotion. And then you let it sit there, make some hard twitches, and let it sit there. It generates strikes. You know, I I could make up a bunch of reasons as to why I think this works. But more than anything, I think it's just that bluegill profile making a commotion on the surface. And it doesn't matter if the fish thinks it's wounded or feeding. It just creates that opportunity for an opportunistic bass to come eat that bluegill. And there is something about a bluegill style prop bait that really generates strikes and aggressive strikes. So that's that's the, probably my absolute go to topwater bait for fish and bluegill beds. <laughs> the second top water though that I'll choose is a popper style bait. You know, this is a Rebel Popper, definitely one of my favorite popper style baits. But I think the whole key to the popper is that when they go up and you make it you make it pop and you get that bubble and you make that little bloop sound, that is very similar to a bluegill going up to the surface and feeding on something. And that goes back to what I just said a minute ago. As soon as a bluegill lets its guard down, goes up to the surface to feed, if there's a bass around, they know that's an opportunity to go eat that bluegill. So a popper, to me, is the best bait that mimics a feeding bluegill on the surface. You know, I, I personally love to have baits that have that feathered treble hook on the back. You know, depending on what bait you choose, they, they've got different feathers on them or whatever the material is. But I like to have a, a feathered treble hook or flashaboo on the treble hook. Something that creates that tail, uh, that bluegill rear tail look to it. So I think 
to me, that's a must. But those are the two top water baits that I will go to if I'm fishing bluegill beds. I think they both work phenomenally well. The next bait is a swim jig, guys. A swim jig is an absolute killer bait for fishing around bluegill beds. And it's a really good bait for fishing around bluegill beds when you don't know like necessarily exactly where the bluegill bed is or they're more spread out. So in some instances, you have giant honeycombs of bluegills, right? Those are really obvious to find. You can graph those, you can see them visually, like they're very obvious. This bait though is great for fishing down, say a grass line that has like scattered bluegill beds through the, throughout the grass and on the edge of that grass line. So it's not like there's, you know, 50 in a row, but you'll have one every couple feet down the grass line. So in that case, that's what I love to go with a swim jig because it allows you to fish quickly down those areas where there's lots of scattered bluegill beds. And because of that, there's a lot of ambush points for the bass to set up. So if you've got some uh, bank grass or you've got some trees in the water, you need a relatively weedless bait. And that's where your swim jig comes in. You know, for me, I like to throw a blue, bluegill mimic, mimicking bait. This is the Dirty Jigs swim jig in the bluegill color. And then I like to put on a matching trailer that kind of gives the same bait, the profile size of a bluegill in the same color. This is just the Pit Boss. Uh, this color is Skeet's Green Money. You know, it kind of matches really well. It's kind of got that iridescent purple color in there. But a swim jig to me is a bait that I always have tied on if I know I'm fishing down areas that have lots of scattered bluegill beds. A really, really great bait and it's weedless so it comes through all that fantastically. The next is a small swim bait. You know, this is just the 3.3 power swimmer. I like to put it, the key to this though, guys, is to put it on a really light jig head. You know, I recommend the Matt Stuff and Dirty Jig Scuppy head, but this is the eighth ounce size. You put a small swim bait on an eighth ounce size head and you throw it out there and you creep it through the beds. You don't want it to necessarily be on the bottom, but you want to keep it just so it's barely swimming through there. And it gives that, you know, that tantalizing retrieve that a fish just cannot turn down. It's just this super slow moving bait going through the beds. And if there's a bass around, they will eat that bait. It's a really good, it's really good for generating strikes when the bite is tough. And if you know that there's fish in an area that you haven't been able to get bite other baits, they really seem to go after a small swim bait really well. And it's a, you know, it's a good bluegill mimicking bait in its own right. It doesn't necessarily have the bluegill profile, but it's got the overall length of a small bluegill. So I love to have a small swim bait tied on if I'm fishing around lots of bluegill beds. The last guys and potentially the best all around bait is just a, whatever your soft stick bait favorite is, you know, in this case, this is the Max Scent 5 inch general. That's the baby bass color, which I like throwing around the bluegill beds. You rig this weightless on a wacky rig, and this is an absolute killer bait around bluegill beds. There's, you know, it goes back to that small swim bait thing. If you rig it weightless and you let this fall through the beds, it's just that agonizing, you know, shake down to the ground, down to the bottom, and you start it all over again. And it's like, if there's, if there's a bass around that's active, they will come eat this as good as any of these other baits. It's a it's a great bait to have as a follow-up as well. You know, again, if you know there's fish there and you can't get them to hit your top water or they'll come up and swirl on it but not eat it, try a wacky rig soft stick bait. And I'm telling you guys, you'll catch a bunch of fish on it. So next time you head out to the lake, if you know you're going to be chasing some bluegill bed fish, try these baits. I'm telling you, these are fantastic baits for generating strikes around the bluegill beds. They're, this is pretty much all I'll throw when it comes to the bluegills. So give it a try, guys. In the comment section, let us know what you think uh, has worked for you guys in the past, if I didn't mention one of them. And at the same time, if you're looking to purchase some baits, go to the uh, go to my description, click the link to therealshot.com, use the discount code STEFAN10, and you can save 10% off on your order. And a lot of these baits they have right there on their website. So check it out, guys. Stay tuned. New tips and tricks come out every day.